back with another video with the Height Y60 4090. Um, I j just posted a video uh, recently about my thoughts and you know what I liked about it. Just the case in general for the Height Y60 fantastic case. Now, a lot of people are actually asking specifically about the thermals, how a 4090 works with the Hi-Y60. The 4090 is a larger card. Some of those larger cards get a little too close to the glass and uh, choke up uh, your performance and lead to some pretty high thermals. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna actually take a look at the 4090 Founders Edition with the Hi-Y60. We're gonna take a look at some temps, with the glass on, with the glass off. Now, quick disclaimer, if you guys are looking at this for uh, thermals, of course, this is specifically with the Height Y60 and specifically with the 4090 FE Founders Edition model. Um, Founders Edition model, when it comes to air-cooled cards, it is the smallest of all of the 4090s. Of course, there are some liquid cooling ones that are smaller, but when it comes to air-cooled, the FE is the smallest, so, uh, be sure to take a look with your specific card, whichever card you get. Um, I have seen larger cards, uh, like some of the Asus Tough, um, the Asus Strix, um, Gigabytes. A lot of people have had to take the glass off on, on Reddit PC Part Picker. They had to take this front panel off here in order to uh, actually have the card uh, run with solid thermals. Now with the 4090 FE, spoiler alert, it does run well with the glass on and uh, we'll take a look at some thermals with the glass off as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. There's the results for the Height Y60 and the 4090. Um, keep in mind, those were specific stress tests for the Speedway test on 3D Mark, um, specifically for gaming preferences and gaming performance. Uh, the, the thermals will actually end up being a, a little bit lower. So if you guys want me to test out thermals for, for certain games on uh, in 4K in different resolutions, let me know uh, down below some interesting things for sure i mean you with the glass off of the height y60 with the 4090 you are going to have a little bit of lower thermals um, idle isn't too much of a big deal uh, you're only looking at uh, pretty much identical when it, when it comes to that the glass off was about 37.4 the glass on was 38.5 uh, degrees celsius but it's really the uh, uh, the stress test. I mean, you are seeing a, a drop of seven degrees down on the, the stress test with the, the glass off. I was a bit surprised too. I mean, I know through Reddit and a lot of people talking about this with their 4090s, they would have to take the glass off to, to drop a little bit of the, uh, the thermals. And it uh, looks like that's the same case with the 4090 FE. Um, if you're still interested in get, getting the height Y60 cases, there are different alternatives. If you uh, may want lower thermals, obviously you can, of course, take the glass panel off or uh, using different vertical mounts, backing it up a little bit because there is a little bit of space on the back of the, uh, uh, the GPU to the motherboard with certain vertical mounts where you can get a little bit of extra space. That way it won't uh, choke up that, uh, that GPU. I'm glad I tested it out. I hope you guys learn something and uh, if you're planning on getting the height y60 or if you already have a height y60 and you're planning on getting a 4090 uh, let me know which ones you, you you look to get down in the comments below and if you guys have any other questions in regards to this build in regards to the case um, post down below I'd love to discuss with you guys and, 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 and chat up with it so 
All right, guys. Well, that's the video. You guys have a good one.